Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting limited run games unboxing and today we are here with something I honestly have no idea what it is, but it is in a substantial box so it's got to be some kind of collector's edition. Usually I'm on top of my tracking emails, but I don't know if I got one for this or what, so I'm kind of excited to see what this is. That being said, if you're unfamiliar with limited run games, they basically do exactly that. They make limited run of special indie games that they really like. Off. They've done it a long time for the PlayStation 4 and the Vita. They've recently started with a PlayStation 3 game, and they've been doing Switch games for about a year now. And uh, basically, they run them in lo such low runs in terms of the collector's editions of anywhere from two, three, four thousand usually. And then they open pre-orders on just the Switch games for a couple of weeks at a time. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I have a link in the description below if you want to check them out. So we're going to see what this is. We're going to unbox it, and I'm going to play the game and talk to you guys about it for about 10, 15 minutes. And and we'll come on back and see what we think. So first off, let's open this up and see what it is because I honestly don't even know. So it's not anything super huge. They've just put it in a bigger box with a lot of packaging. And I'm still not sure. Oh, the Outlast ones. Oh, cool. Okay, I've been looking forward to these. So let's get this bubble wrap out the way. Get the box out the way. And that should be good for now. We'll readjust the camera in a minute. So of course we get our limited run loyalty rewards tickets. You have to send those in, so I'm not worried about showing you the numbers. We get some collector's cards with the fancy glossy limited run thing on the back, and we get a card for Outlast 1 and Outlast 2, because this does contain both versions of the game, so that's really, really nice. I have never played the Outlast games either. I'm not typically a huge fan of that style of game. I love horror games, but I like to be able to shoot and stuff, not just hide. I could be wrong, there could be more to this than I understand, but I'm excited about it. So we have limited run number 17 and 18. I do like that they numbered them each individually. I don't remember if they get individual cases or not, but we have the special edition here, which is uh, nicely shrink wrapped. So let's get that out of the way, and then we'll show you the box with a little bit less glare going on. So that's pretty nice. It does have kind of the slip card, which is still much better than a J card, like they had to do initially because of Nintendo last minute telling them, hey, we want our branding on there. It's like, well, why don't you tell us from day one? All right, let's slide this off. I don't even remember what all comes in here, obviously, other than just the two games. But uh, yeah, so it's nice. And it actually has that, I mean, it's definitely cardboard, but I mean, it, it's like almost a faux leather. It's not quite that, but it has that texture going on, which is pretty nice. That is slightly indented or embossed even, so you are getting some textures on here. I think this is supposed to be considered like the briefcase edition, so I'm kind of surprised they didn't make like fake little latches or numbers here, even if it was just printed on. But let's see what we get. Let's pop open the box. Oh, hello. Nothing in the top of the box, art-wise. So we do get two different boxes, that's awesome. <clears throat> and of course in my playthrough, I'm only gonna play one because I don't want to jump into part two and end up spoiling anything. And I'll show you a better look at that once we get the plastic off. And of course we get Outlast 2. And I do love that we are getting two boxes. That is always a fantastic thing. Let's pull this out the way and see what else we got in here. So we got a confidential file. I'm not exactly sure what's gonna be in there, but I like, I can already tell, I like what they've done there. Oh, we get a graphic novel, I guess. That's really nice. That's a nice addition. That's something we haven't gotten. We'll look at all this stuff in more detail once we get through what's in here. Pull off some more cardboard. Ooh, we get the soundtrack. That's one of my absolute favorite things to get in here. That and steel books, but I don't think we get a steel book on this one. And again, uh, so we got some really well folded up posters we will take a look at. More cardboard. Ah, that's right. And then we get the uh, slip case that we can fold out and let it hold both games in there. So I'll probably do that. I like that idea. And we got some loose cardboard. So, all right, let me get that out of the way for now. And let's see, we'll look at the soundtrack after, and we'll do this after. Let's start with the posters. So let's start with the part one poster. Oh, these seem like they're gonna be substantially, substantial size. <laughs> eh, no, they're about the normal size for a limited run games poster. So we get kind of the old pulp style artwork here like we have on the cards. So that's cool. They are double-sided. Outlast the Terror, part one. Nice. Except I don't, I'm not a big fan of folded posters. How do you, not that I'm going to do it, but in case other people want to, anybody out there, how do you unfold these? How do you get the creases out of them to make them look like they had been rolled? Is there a trick to that? Feel free to drop some knowledge on us all in the comments, because I would definitely like to know that trick, even if I might not use it. But one of these days I might get one of these so amazing I have to use it, you know? So that would be fantastic if you can, uh, 
shine a little light on for everybody there. Cool, 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 cool. All right, oops, folding that wrong. All right, let's uh, take a look at the games and then we'll look at this confidential folder. Let's see, Outlast 1. Quick look with the plastic, then we'll go over it in better detail. Let's get this plastic out of the way. Again, yeah, I'm just kind of excited I got two games again. <laughs> Even though it'll be a while before I get to part two. Uh, okay, there we go. I knew there was a piece I missed. So, kind of basic, but I mean, it does kind of work. Creepy monster coming out. And of course, in the States, they won't let them put the number on the spine like Super Rare Games gets to, which is kind of a bummer. And yes, number 17. Now, I should remind you too, with limited run games, that, oh, we get a little booklet as well. You, oh, and we get a reversible cover. Oh, cool. Actually, I think I like that cover better, so I may reverse mine eventually. And there is your Switch card. Um, they usually put out half of whatever they're putting out at 10 a.m. and the other half at 6 p.m., but you definitely want to have your credit card saved and everything and be on the ball if you're trying to get collector's editions because a lot of times, if you're even 10 seconds late, you will miss out. I'm not even joking. If you have to type in your credit card, you will miss out. And that's still my one pet peeve uh, about adding to cart and then things disappearing. And, and again, I totally understand, you know, that you wouldn't want people to put stuff in cart and sit there for days, but... Figure like maybe give them like a five minute hold once it's in the cart would be nice if that's doable. I don't know how, I, you know, I don't program, so I don't know. But that's cool, we get a little booklet and all of that. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take a look at number two. Again, quick look before we get out of the plastic. That one's already kind of dented in enough. I could get that with my fingers. Can you tell I've spent many, many years opening DVDs and Blu-rays and <laughs> all kinds of plastic wrapped boxes? All right, again, we kind of get this very simplistic art on the front, so hopefully this will be another double-sided. And speaking of the double-sided, when they have reversible covers, if you order two copies of any game, they will do their best to send you a shrink wrap copy with each cover out, in case you're an inbox only collector. I, of course, collect because I do actually like to open these things and play with them. I mean, to each their own. I'm not judging anybody, but I know somebody actually gave me crap about, like, why would you buy this and open it when people just want to? And I'm like, um, you know, because I wanted it. I mean, why wouldn't I? All right, let's take a quick look through this art book. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, yeah, we got some really nice concept art in here. I am looking forward to playing this, and I think later tonight I'll get to actually play it and capture it after I go get my Zumba on. Got to keep losing that weight. I'm so close to losing 20 pounds so far this year. Still got a way to go, but I know a lot of y'all don't care about that, especially if you only see these videos because you don't look at me. All right, so that's cool, and of course that is Limited Run Games number 18. Let's look at this confidential file, and we got some cool stuff to look at. Oh man, we still got that book. All right, there's a lot of good stuff in here, so hopefully nothing in here is too spoilery, but I love that you actually have, oh, it's just photocopied. I thought we actually had like the perforated paper, but that's pretty neat. I'll try to do this so you can pause if you want to read all this. Warning, there may be spoilers in this. They typically warn you if there are spoilers. But I do like that it's photocopied. You even have like the paper clips and all that kind of stuff and coffee stains and this is pretty neat. I wouldn't I would like to have something like this for a Resident Evil game. That would be cool. You know, all those little documents you find throughout the game and everything. These printout copies like I actually found them. Oh, I like these handwritten letters. That's pretty neat. Again, hopefully I'm lingering long enough for you to get a good pause point if you really want to read through all of these. Nice. And even the back, like that's weird that they even bothered to print on the back to make it look like that. That's actually, that's a simple thing, but that's a cool collectible. All right, let's take a look at this graphic novel. I'm not gonna go through every page of this, but let's take a look at some of it. And oh yeah, okay, we got some gore and grew right off the bat. Very interesting art style. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it, but at least it's something kind of different and unique. We'll go a few more pages in here. Ooh, we're into part two. Yeah, okay. And I mean, that's a, that's a legit graphic novel. Here's this if you want to read it a little bit closer. Cool. Again, this is a great package. But i tell you what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna play the game, then we're gonna come back and look at the soundtrack and put that together. So here you go, here's the game. Okay, I'm back. Let us see if Outlast needs an update. Hey, no update. Woo! -hoo. Hey, Michael Rana Hall, right? All right, we gotta get in that horror mood. Cause now it's time to get serious. 
This is only the third game in a row I'm playing and drinking wine, so I'm gonna be real serious. <laughs> Ew! What's in the red barrels? Ew! Wine sign. Wine time. Mmm. All right. Like I said, we won't play Outlast 2 because, you know, I mean, you should get the gist here. But let's try a little Outlast, and you know what? There's no easy. I'll go normal because I don't go hard. Outlast contains intense... Um, Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. I will. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Always, uh, you mean Hellraiser 3? Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret of the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You're not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Okay, I have to admit, I, I, I've never really played a game like this, but I'm not sure I'm gonna like it, because like, I didn't like the hiding stuff in Resident Evil 7. I liked when I could kick some ass. And you know, well, I mean, I guess it works because I was terrified, but I got relieved of the terror because eventually it's like, oh God, I found some bullets. Okay, okay, I can fight, I can fight a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I need at least a little bit of a fighting chance. So let's see how this goes. Maybe it'll be awesome, maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe it's Maybelline, who knows. Is there an Imperial probe droid? Ooh. Ooh, I'm a pressman. Come on, I want to be the 13th caller FM 109, 107.9. Okay. Well, I'm getting a little bit of that Resident Evil-ish vibe. It's a little bit like a cross between five and seven openings. Just, you know, with a bit of a graphical hit. I don't know how much of that is when this game originally came out versus how much has changed for the Switch, because obviously they're going to downgrade it slightly for the Switch. I don't know how many jokey voices I'll do, because I wish I could drive and just, like, crash into things. Okay. Oh, there's the documents from the thing. From the box, that's cool. Oh God, I gotta read it now. <sighs> you don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Markov is making money. It needs to be exposed. Just like I do. Check out these photos I've included. Oh, oh I do get to be a videographer. All right, we're shooting HD auto at an F24. That'll be pretty good in the dark. We got some night vision. Excellent. Not bad, not a bad camera for 2013. That's a bad camera. All right, everybody remember where we parked. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, that button does that. That button jumps. That button does jack. That is my switch, or is that my, does that switch me to camera or what did I just do? I don't know, I guess I turned it off. Okay, side, side. Ah, that button puts my camera up. How do I, how do I switch to night vision? I guess it'll just do it automatically. All right, let's go. Let's get this party started. Yeah. Let's get it started in here. 
Look at me! Alright, what are we investigating? We are investigating nothing. What a jip. Can I... How do I... I don't... How do I... How do I live without you? Okay, Y kicks it open. Slow Y. Like, or hold Y. Yeah, so. Um, is that not Y? Oh, that's not Y. <laughs> okay. Fast door. I know. Okay. Do I have to read it? I don't wanna. Ugh. I started feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum, shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly at Amala, more like a jammer than a lost signal. The Markov Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but like never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place is to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Okay. Cool. Can I run? Not yet, but I imagine running will become part of this game. Ooh, is that a war truck? Oh, hold down L. Well, thank you for answering my question. Um, that seems bad. Egon, does this seem bad to you? Yes, this definitely seems bad. Okay, as long as it's not me. Hello, my name is Elder Price, and I have a book for you that I think you might like. Ding dong. Hello. Can I do anything? Oh, I can jump. Okay. Oh, did I accidentally squat? I squatted. <laughs> Here I sit. Broken potted. Paid a quarter and only squatted. That doesn't make sense. All right, where the, what, 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 the, what, the, what, the, what? Can I sideways run? Parkour! Parkour! Ah. I don't think I'm supposed to be sneaking in. I legitimately have just gotten a sense of dread in that moment. <laughs> okay, that's good, I guess. Don't make that much noise. God damn. Oh, right. Camcorder. And then I can zoom in with those buttons. This takes a lot of buttons. Oh, look. There's a window up there. Maybe I'm supposed to... I am supposed to parkour. Sweat. I gotta show off my sweat moves. Splashy in the fountain, in the fountain, I splash. Yep, 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 yep. Did that. That's a thing that happened. Okay, creepy ass music. <sighs> Jump! This looks like it'd be fun to skate. Jump! Uh, okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Just don't look down, feet don't fail me now. Just don't look down, feet don't fail me now. Okay, okay, all right, we've almost made it. And jump. All right, is somebody gonna pop out of this window and make me fall and make me poop my pants? Oh God, okay. Yep, all right, night vision. I am, I am not drunk enough to not be freaking out, so. 
wine time. I'm guessing I might should start putting my face in these videos for things like this. I mean, I might as well. I'm in the DMN setup here. So, I mean, it's just a matter of turning the camera on and adding it to the OBS here. Oh, God. I do not like this. I mean, I do, but you know what I mean. Ugh, everything looks like one of those movie theater audience reactions. <laughs> oh, fun fact for those of you that know anything about Zeppo, Sinners from Beyond the Moon. Some of the nighttime scenes, and you can tell by actors' eyes. But since the movie was in black and white, we were able to get away with shooting night vision to get things lit that would not have normally been lit. All right, let's, yeah, let's do a slow open on this one. Oh, okay. Sorry, I know I want to talk, but at the same time, I'm like, ooh. And then I'm hearing things, but it's a TV in the other room, so I'm like, ooh. Okay, I guess I will go in this room. It's pretty, ugh. That is terrifying. Let's film it. We need to run a black light over that. Something tells me there's paranormal activity in there. Or penis joke. Ooh, what a lovely view. Mm. All right, things are taking a little too long to get. What the fuck is that? Sadly, I'm not playing this in headphones or in surround. Because I feel like that's the way to do it. Okay, that sound was fucked. There is a camera up there. Oh, there's more doors over here. Oh boy. Fuck it, let's go fast. I'm not gonna lie, they're doing a real good job of building and sending, and, 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 and uh, descending, a uh, impending sense of doom. Man, I barely had any wine. I should know my words better. Uh, uh, at least there's not like a billion little creepy crawlies that come down on me like that other game that is awesome and terrifying, but where I get to shoot monsters. Oh, let's definitely pick up the battery. I always need batteries. My dildos are, I mean, my cameras are always dying. Oh, I only get so long on the night vision or something. I didn't read that because I like to read. Oh, I can hide under the desk. I can surprise the boss with a blowjob. Cool. Hey, all this blood is normal, right? I mean, it's a mental hospital, so I'm sure people are bleeding all over the place all the time, yeah? All right, we're getting a little bit less linear, so that's good. Oh boy, here comes some reading. <sighs> all right, let's read. All right, Markov Psychiatric Systems, Project Wall Rider, Mount Massive Company, Case, it doesn't matter. Uh, maybe it matters. All right, therapy status, patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Really, morphogen, morphogen, morph, morph, morphogenic, uh, that's all folks. Engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage four hormone schedule, cause he's horny. Diagnostics. Uh, spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hedomidocrit centrifuge again failed to separate. Uh, ear, 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 <laughs> throkites. Thro 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 e eerie throkites, I guess. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM slash NREM cycle. Laughter in NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. <sighs> Note the only Traeger on company records. One Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Markov Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider, Mount Massive Company. 
That was awesome and totally worth reading. Do, do. Is that a... Is there somebody... No, it's bad draw distance and scary music. Oh God. Okay. Sorry, ma'am. I didn't, didn't know anybody was here. I'm just gonna go in the snack room and pee in the sink instead. Oh, uh, what the fuck? That ain't good. So let's, let's, ooh, let's, let's do like a horror movie. Let's, let's go. Let's investigate. Let's go down the darker corridor and the spider webs, because that's the smart thing to do. Can I open that? I don't seem to be able to. Nope. All right, we'll just go this way then. <clears throat> I'm not gonna go investigate that bathroom. I've seen the horrors of bath public bathrooms. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy, I see shadows. I see rain. Oh god, it's saved. We're fucked. In the laboratory- oh, the library. No, oh, Jesus fucking- Oh god! Did it come down? Is it coming after me? Oh, okay. You know what? I got my Fitbit on. Did my heart rate just jump? It is escalating. I was very much in a relaxed state. Fuck me, dude. All right. All right, cool. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get any jump scares during this filming, but yeah. Ugh. Oh god, there's more bodies back here. Is this a Predator game? Hello, my name is Elder Price, and I have a book for you that I think you might like. I'm sure I'm not getting those lyrics exactly right, by the way. I'm brand spanking new to Book of Mormon. Um. Oh wait, that's not what I want. How, what, how was the, what was the zoom? Oh, that's the zoom. Okay. Oh God, those heads, that's creepy as fuck, dude. Oh, and a reminder that I didn't say, in case um, you just don't know anything about how these games work and limited run and everything. These games, you can get these digitally on the eShop right now, and a lot cheaper. Limited run is just for like, if you want, if, for physical collectors, really, so. If you're just into this game and this is making you want to go try it, you can buy it right now. Oh God! The fuck, dude? Us. You got out. The very. You can't fight them. Hold on, I'm trying to get cinematic with it. Look at that. Look at that arcing shot around your dying corpse. Security control. Can we Brookheimer this? Let's see. Out of this nope. Place. Fuck. Oh no. Let's dolly shot. Okay, my camera's gonna die. That ain't good. I need it to see. I should have paid attention to what he said, but I'll just replay the game later at a later date when I can do things. Oh fuck, there's a there's a Oh shit. Whew. Okay. I kind of feel like, let's see if I can go die, just to end the video. Can I go in there? Let's see what happens. Aww. Hello? Have you heard the good word about Jesus? By the way, I'm not trying to make fun of any religions, I'm just on a Book of Mormon kick. Because, <laughs> you, know, you know, our rules are typically not talking about religion on this channel. Because it's divisive, but... We can talk about Book of Mormon. Oh, see, see, that's what happens when I only have two sausages all day long and then I drink a whole bottle of wine and a couple of vodkas. It's just not fun. It's just not fun. And that is worse than dying. 
but we'll go a little further and see what happens. Wait, didn't I come from over here? No. Wait, am I able to go anywhere else? Did I already... I don't know. Okay, I know I came out of that door. Oh, I guess I didn't... Oh, I can't go that way. Well, I guess I have to go this way. And there's a bathroom. There was no, like, vent. Okay, I'm about to run out of battery for my thing here. But I don't see where I'm supposed to go. Did I come too far in that room? Did I miss something? Can I jump down the stairs? Or maybe we just call the game there? Oh, I can squeeze through the tight spot. That's what it is. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Oh, shit. And that's a great stopping point. Because I need to go change my pants. I haven't had this whole bottle of wine yet, but I have had sausages. It's not going to be pretty. Oh, what the fuck? Who are you, then? Fester? Uncle Fester? Okay. Hi. I... I see. <laughs> Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Oh, no. God no. Life, son. Not you religion bullshit, calling. too. This is not the place you want to find a, a super religious zealot guy. Uh, 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 nope. Well, on the next DMN, you're going to see a different color couch because I just made it brown. Holy hell. All right. No, you know what? I don't necessarily like the run and hide stuff, but this is fun as shit, so. Well, there you guys go. That is a taste of Outlast if you had never played it. Um, back to the guy who's got cool stuff to show you in, in, in the soundtrack and, and, and other things, so. Bye. Bye. All right, so hopefully that was really cool. As you may or may not know, I tend to actually um, record <laughs> the gameplay after filming the video, so I have no idea what I thought. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of this stuff here. Um, quick look at the soundtrack. Quick look at that. And again, you know, you guys are asking for my voices, so for better or worse, hopefully you're enjoying that. I certainly enjoy being able to kind of uh, make some jokes and stuff and practice different voice work, because <laughs> I just do that for fun on occasion. And, uh, you know. I mean, it's hard to sit there and play the game and try and be that funny, or be funny on the fly. I shouldn't assume I'm funny at all, but, <laughs> you know, I try. All right, so here we go. Here's the soundtrack. I do like that artwork. This looks like it is definitely, okay, it is definitely a double CD, so that is pretty fantastic. That's interesting, though, that disc one lists all those tracks, and then under it lists those tracks, but disc two, and if you look at the numbers, so I would have assumed that means that's on disc two, but then that throws off the track numbers. I don't really know. Are there three discs in here? There can't be three discs in here, right? That would be weird. So we get a retelling of that art. Um, that is just single-sided, so I'm not gonna bother pulling that out. That is definitely disc one there. Flop that over for disc two. At least we get some back art this time. We don't often get that. I guess it's because it's a double disc. So that's nice. That's a nice additive. All right, let's put this puppy together. And we can get out of here. That's pretty easy. You just kind of flatten that out, all right. And of course, we'll uh, flatten these in. And let's go ahead and bend this part. Just give it a nice crease so I don't have to deal with it in a minute. And then, very, very carefully, because I want to keep it in as good a shape as I can, and then we'll kind of crease this a little bit in. And voila! We can now... Boom! I mean, I put them in wrong, but still, that is pretty cool. So I think, yeah, if you had bought the games, they would have come just pre-assembled in this. So my thing about the reversible covers, I don't know how true it is on the two packs. I know that's what they say with the single packs, but you know, uh, who knows, <laughs> you know? Do you know? Cause I don't know. All right, well, there you guys go. There is the Outlast double feature, I guess. Limited run games number 17 and 18. And I am very excited to have this. But now I want to know, what do you guys think about this? Have you played these games? Are you getting them for the Switch? Have you gotten for the Switch? Are you getting the limited run? Did you get the collector's edition? How do you feel about it all? What games would you like to see collector's, uh, collector's editions of on limited run in the future? Definitely let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. And I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. Check out uh, the Limited Runs link in my description below. And now I'm going to get out of here so I can go watch some more stuff, or open some more stuff. My God, where is my brain? Anyways, I'll see you all later. Later.